one of the realities of the CAD world is that you can spend a thousand dollars for software which gives you many more custom tools or you can spend thirty three dollars for the software and use your brain just a couple of minutes each day and get the same job done so let's take a look at some situations which at first appear impossible but they certainly are not impossible first project is draw a circle centered on a rectangle so we'll draw a rectangle and we'll snap the grids and you notice there's no grid at the middle of this rectangle I want to place a circle so that the center of the circle is at the center of the rectangle but I don't have a center of rectangle tool boo hoo poor me here's what we do we draw a line we connect it to the centers of the two ends of the rectangle. It's that simple. Now we go ahead and pick up our circle. We use this circle type here. We're going to snap it to the centers of this particular line right here. And we just delete the temporary line. And we just now created a circle which is exactly centered on the center of this rectangle. No big deal, right? Just a little brain power. That's all it takes. Okay, the next task involves getting rid of this rectangle, so let's select all the entities and delete it. Rectangle is gone. The next task says place a diagonal line whose center is snapped to a circle center. Okay, so we pick up a diagonal line here. That one doesn't do it. This one here will do it just fine. And what we're using is this tool here. It says draw a line at a given angle. So we take a line at a given angle, make the angle 30 degrees, make the length. Leave that for a moment. Set the snap point in the middle. So now we'll make the length so that it fits. Specify the position. It's already snapped to the middle. We're finished. We just placed a line, and the exact center of the line is at the exact center of the circle. And it was no big deal, now was it? Didn't take any thousand dollar software to do that. Okay, next we want to place a parallel copy of the diagonal line that is tangent to the same circle. So a parallel copy of this line, it's got to be tangent right here. So if we go up here and look around, we don't have any tool that can draw something parallel and still be a tangent. We can tangent between two circles, we can tangent from a point to a circle. There's no tool here that lets you make a parallel line that's tangent to the circle. So once again, time for a little brain power. So we back up here and the first thing we'll do is we will draw orthogonal line and we use intersections to draw it select the base entity is this guy and there's our line in the center of this line it's also the center of the circle so we click and that's a done deal now we can come down and do another neat little trick here we can do another orthogonal, make it relative to this guy, and we'll snap it to the endpoints, snap it to the endpoint of this guy, and there we go. Delete the temporary line. We now have a tangent to the circle that's parallel with this line here, and it's tangent to the same circle piece of cake. Life's too easy. So next we'll delete the tangent. We don't need it anymore. Next project says place a circle centered a given distance below the center of an angled line. Well, here we have an angled line. We'll get rid of the circle. So how do we pull this one off? 
This one's actually quite easy. We come up here, we select our select our line choices. We'll pick this line right here, this line type. Notice he has a length and a snap point. It's still in the middle the last time we used a snap point. We'll put the snap point back at the start. We'll snap to the centers of things. And here's a line. You notice it's minus 50, so it's hanging down 50 units. So we'll set it to uh, minus 20. If we want it to go up, we've got to gotten rid of the minus sign. And now the line goes up. But we'll, we'll have it go down. Minus 20. Line goes down. Specify the position, so we just click. Now we have a line right here. Now this is getting too difficult. Now we just select the circle. Come down here, go to the end point, place the circle, we're done. What I have to do now is delete the temporary line. We now have a circle whose center is a given distance, which was 20 units below the center of this diagonal line. So I think I rest my case. You don't need $1,000 software to do accurate CAD drawings. All you need is half a brain and use the common tools that are included in this $33 program. So hopefully this lesson was a little eye-opener that you really get what you pay for when you buy those extra fancy tools. Think about it.